Okay, this is typically where you make fun of me, and mm. then we transition into the video somehow. <laughs> and we don't give our editor enough time yes. to make it an easy transition. Yeah, and you usually have a funny face. So I gotta... And welcome back to Coffee and Quirks. My name is Father Andrew Swinky. I am joined here with Deacon Alex Sassy. And we are um, excited to be with you here today on April 1st, April Fool's Day, so that we can go over the daily reflections from today's mass readings. Um, so yeah, with that, uh, Deacon, would you... Actually, um, before we start, Father Andrew Schwenke, I just want to make a comment. Okay. Real, real quick. Um, so, you know, when I'm watching uh, a YouTube video or I'm listening to a podcast, you know, it, it's one of my pet peeves. And, and this pet peeve is when they put, you know, coffee in the title oh. or any sort of drink, you know. Yeah. And they don't have that drink in yeah. their video or their, their podcast. I'm just so glad that our show, mm -hmm. with Father Andrew Schwenke and Deacon Alex Sassy, that we have coffee in our coffee cups. And clerics. That's right. Because this clerics. is called Coffee, coffee and, and Clerics. clerics. Mm -hmm. That's what our name is. That's right. But yeah, so uh, to, for today's readings... They're a little long. Um, Deacon Alec and I don't like to read long passages. Yeah. So we kind of stick to the picture books ourselves. But if you'd like, you could read uh, the passages and the link below. It may or may not be there um, from the USCCB. And uh, they'll have the whole passage for you. But otherwise, we will just summarize the readings and then give you a quick reflection. So yeah. Deacon Alec, so take us the away. The first reading from today is from the book of Daniel. And we have another awesome story from the book of Daniel, one of my favorites, you know, just like we had Susanna mm. a couple days ago and how great her story was she's and awesome. how she's such a God-fearing, virtuous, and beautiful woman. Mm. And today we have, you know, three men that are also, you know, God-fearing and virtuous. And their names are Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They're just... Great names. Great names. Great you know, names. You, you, I, I can say, say it those. ten times fast. Go for it. Um, I'm not going to try. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are Jews mm. that have been deported from their land. Their land was conquered by the Babylonians. We know this you know, through the Old Testament. And they are in the court of the evil king Nebuchadnezzar. They have risen to prominence through the wisdom and gifts that God has given them. And so Nebuchadnezzar has given them places of prominence. Mm. Um, but one day Nebuchadnezzar decrees throughout the whole land that anybody who hears the bagpipe or the flute must stop what they're doing mm. and bow down and worship this statue that the king has set up. And of course, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they don't fall through this. And the penalty is being tossed into the uh, white hot furnace. furnace. Yes. And so Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego are tossed in the furnace, but God doesn't um, abandon them. He doesn't leave his people. He, he protects these three men. Mm. And the king cries out, why aren't these men being burned alive? I see four men in there, and one looks like the son of man. So mm. we know like an angel from God has been sent to protect these men and it just really goes to show like that god doesn't leave his people doesn't abandon his people like in this story exemplifies the father's fatherhood that is shown in the story but also is in our lives as well when we're going through persecution and suffering like today god is our father and we can reread the story to remember the Father's fatherhood. That's very, the very well said. Of God the Father. The Father is is beautiful. Father. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. That's so. So that's to kind of summarize, a in itself. the Father's fatherhood. The Father's Father fatherhood. Andrew that's what I want you to remember love. about the story. Is the Father's fatherhood's fatherly love. Father. Right. Exactly. All right. You almost so, have it. Uh, you almost have it right. You know, maybe, that's why I talk. That's more why we got the three-year cycle. Yeah. So in three years, maybe I'll get it. And then we get back to these readings and we'll <laughs> yeah. be good to go. Yeah, call me. I can, I can right. tell you more yeah. about the Father's Fatherhood. Sounds good. 
Yeah, you know what I love about these Old Testament stories is the characters. So you yeah. mentioned Susanna, uh, who we had in the other days reading, and then we get today we get Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, and we get these truly heroic characters, kind of like uh, like uh, Hey Hey. That's right. Hey, hey, yeah, the one that you said I you, I reminded you of, right? Yeah. From Moana. You're spot on. Hey, hey. I am. Hey, hey. You are. I hey, still hey. gotta see that movie, but yeah. But the other part I like about this story is how perfectly it ties in with what's going on in my favorite gospel, mm. the Gospel of John. That's right. That's right. So today in the Gospel of John, Jesus confronts the Jews, um, and these are the ones who believe in him, and he's confronting a deep-seated issue within them. Um, they identify themselves in the story as children of Abraham, right? Which is true. They're descendants of Abraham. But then they also say something along the lines of, we've never been enslaved, so why mm. do we need to be freed by yeah. you? Which is not true. Which is not true. Yeah. Because what are some of the examples? Well, they've been a people that have been enslaved many times throughout history. You know, the Babylonians, yeah. their time in Egypt. Egypt. And, and even even now, like in this time, Rome has conquered their land and they are paying taxes to Caesar, right? So they've got this false identity. Um, and Christ tries to say, no, I'm here to free you, not even just from those things, but from something much more deeply rooted in your identity. And that is the corrupt nature that you have from original sin. I'm here to free you from sin. Yeah, like right. the Jews aren't getting it in their minds. He's not talking about like an earthly slavery. He's talking mm. of a spiritual slavery, or mm. slavery to sin and vice and evil. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And so he's, he, he attacks that point. He attacks the identity. Um, and sometimes we might have an obsessive identity over little parts of our lives, which right now we might have to be shedding like our work or whatever it might may be because of this quarantine. Um, like Deacon, I, I know you really mm. um, yeah. take a lot of time and effort and put it into your hair. Yeah. So now I have a lot more time, you know, yeah. to put in my hair. So now that, I mean, already it was perfect, but now it is yeah. above perfection. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's part of the reason why we record these in the afternoon. The day before, yeah, is because it takes me all morning, yeah, yeah, good. to achieve this perfection. Perfection. I mean, do you see this hair? I do. Yeah, I, I actually wish that you could help me a little bit with. Oh, mine going on. I I, I work on it, but it doesn't yeah. seem to have the same yeah. results. Yeah, uh, I don't think there's anything we can do about you. Okay, I think you're a lost cause. All right. Yeah. Um, well, um, bald. He is bald. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Deacon Alex Sassy. I, yes, Father Andrew Schwenke. I uh, greatly appreciate um, you being here today so we could go over um, kind of these stories, the importance of identifying ourselves in the Father's fatherhood. fatherhood. Yeah. In the, the father the is fatherly from love. Daniel. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and what were our three names? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That's right. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. No, I'm not going to do it. Not to touch that. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, and we, as a show, <laughs> will always truly identify ourselves as coffee and clerics mm -hmm. because we have coffee and in clerics. Our, no. In our, we have coffee in our coffee cups. In, in our coffee cups. Yeah. I thought you were going to say coffee in our, in our clerics and oh. that would be unpleasant. Yeah, yeah. Not that. Yeah. <laughs> Because right. we are true to who we say is the title of our show. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So and with that, we wish you all a happy April Fool's Day. Thank you so much for taking some of your day to join with us as we go over scripture passages. Um, and we hope that you all have a blessed day. Know of our prayers for you. Please pray for us. God, God bless. bless. Hey, Drew, what'd you think of that? Garbage. <laughs> I have the uh, scriptural readings pasted up on my mirror so I can, mm. you know, read them and reflect mm. on them as I'm doing my hair. And so that's why I come up with these great insights, you know, mm. in the morning. That's also why we film in the afternoon, because mm. it takes you so long to do your hair. Mm -hmm. That That's only prudent that we exactly. give you enough time. Yeah, anything before noon would be too early. So I'm glad <laughs> we're doing it now. Yeah.
You know, perfection is not easy. We're supposed to strive for excellence in everything we do. Yeah, be yeah. virtuous and all to, that. So. To strive after the Father's heart because he's striving after us every day. And we are sons of the Father. And the Father's fatherhood is fathering us as we father <laughs> other fathers. <laughs> <laughs> you notice that to do? <laughs> Today, was it today's film? I think it was today's. <laughs> yes, Alex said something about the father's love. The, the father's <laughs> the father. Fa the father's father while he's fathering it, is <laughs> simplifying great fatherhood for the father's love. Yeah. Okay, so I got all that on camera. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Oh. So that's just gold that. Oh, that's so good, Drew. I'm so glad.